Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about the system requirements of Quantum Espresso and what are the hardware requirements and what are the software requirements. As for hardware, I think any laptop or desktop will work. So whatever computer you have and whether it uses Intel Core or AMD Core, it doesn't matter. Uh, Quantum Espresso will work. It is just that if you want to run a very big calculation, you may need to go to a server or a cluster or even to a supercomputer. The main difference between a supercomputer and a normal desktop is that a supercomputer has much more CPU cores and it usually has much larger RAM. And for the, the more CPU cores you have, uh, the faster the code will run. And, um, and RAM is essential for the calculation of large system because during the calculation, um, quantum, quantum Espresso will store the wave function into, uh, into RAM. Imagine you have a system that has, um, for example, 300 or 400 atoms. The wave functions will be very complicated and it will need a, a large RAM, for example, uh, more than 200 gigabytes. For a normal laptop, it's, uh, eight, uh, let's say, 8 gigabytes or at most 64 gigabytes but then that is not enough for the calculation of a system with hundreds of atoms but um, but i guess uh, if you if you want to run uh, run a calculation for a small or medium sized uh, um, project any any modern computer will be fine as for the operating system quantum espresso can run on linux mac or windows um, this tutorial is based on Quantum Espresso in Linux. The reason is that uh, Quantum Espresso is, or, or most of the uh, quantum chemistry codes, they are designed to be used a and, and they are mostly used in Linux. One of the reasons is that uh, for, for the professionals in, the, in this field who, who really, uh, who, who mostly use this, this kind of codes, they uh, they usually calculate a, a large system for their research and uh, and large systems can only be calculated in uh, in supercomputers efficiently uh, and and supercomputers they they mostly run linux if if not all of them so um but but i guess the the, the audience of this tutorial um, may not be professionals in the field um, y you may you may uh, be just curious about how how this uh, calculation works or you you want to run a small project on it in in this case it is not really clear cut whether you should use uh, windows or linux um, but linux offers some some advantages for example it it has four uh, it offers four control and uh, and four features uh, while Windows usually uh, have um, have have something that uh, that is not complete. Um, another thing is that uh, parallel computation is well supported in in Linux. Uh, while in Windows, for example, this uh, in this uh, user interface called Burai, um, it cannot uh, it cannot run parallel computation. So it will only run on one of the core of your CPU, which is not efficient. Um, or in, in Windows, uh, I think if you run uh, as, as command line, you can also have some uh, realization of parallel computation, but it's not, uh, not really efficient. Um, and uh, of course, the disadvantage would be that you need to get used to, the, to Linux. Uh, like like nowadays, you uh, you more and no more get used to uh, uh, moving your mouse around and um, and control everything, but uh, but in Linux uh, you you may need to uh, start uh, using the keyboard, and and using command line, but of course uh, more than Linux uh, uh, more than Linux also have the features of mouse, but uh, but if you want to uh, use Quantum Espresso, you may need to uh, learn something. Um, for that, I, I will show 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 you two uh, tutorials. Um, I will show you how to install uh, Ubuntu and how to um, how to 
write some uh, basic commands, uh, something like uh, move move a file, rename a file, or create a file, create a folder, something like that. Yeah. So don't worry. If you want to use uh, Contour Espresso in Linux, uh, in, in in Windows, you also have different options. Uh, the first one would be the command line, CMD, or you can go for uh, some distribution with a uh, user interface like this Burai. Um, interestingly, you can also choose another uh, possibility, which is virtual machine. So you don't have to really install Ubuntu on your on your computer, but you can uh, get a virtual machine on, on uh, in Windows. And there is also some uh, s some virtual machine that is uh, that is already installed with Quantum Espresso inside. So basically, this quantum mobile virtual machine. You can search this, or you can go to the official website to check. Um, the question that you may ask is that uh, whether you should use Windows or Linux. Um, I think th I think this question is quite s quite simple to answer. If if you are just curious uh, about uh, about the, this field, or or you want to calculate something. Uh, that that is kind of small. For example, it is below twenty uh, twenty atoms. Then I would suggest that you start with uh, the user interface version in li uh, in in Windows. For example, this Blu-ray, because th because f uh, for this Blu-ray you can uh, start uh, doing things very quickly and you can uh, get output qu very quickly. You don't have to learn anything uh, in in Linux, and you don't have to fiddle around the uh, the compilation procedure in, in in Linux, which is sometimes annoying. But if your target system is larger, or you want to uh, you want to really optimize everything and get the uh, get the best out of your computer, then you should uh, use Quantum Espresso in Linux. Because if you, for example, you, if your computer has eight cores in your CPU, if you run your calculation on on Burai, it only supports one core, so so you only get uh, one eighth of the capability of your of your CPU, and and if you take into account of the advantage of compiler and and also mass library, uh, and and etc. in um, in Linux, you you may expect to see more, maybe more than twenty times uh, higher efficiency in Linux than than uh, than this build, right? So so if you you want to calculate something with um, that th that is slightly larger, you may you you may want to consider op the option of Linux and. Um, and for Linux, uh, don't don't worry. Just uh, just follow my tutorial. I will I will show you step by step how how do we do things in in Linux. Once you get used to it, it's it's fine. Yeah. And uh, in case you want to you want to really go go inside this field and um, do very serious calculation, some system with more than let's say one uh, more more than two hundred atoms, for example. You may you may then need to search for a cluster or even supercomputer, but for that uh, again you have to use Linux. Um, another possibility would be uh, that uh, if you uh, if you are not sure, you can just uh, install Burai on your on, on your Windows machine and um, and try the calculation with it. If you find out this is not efficient enough, I would suggest that you can. Uh, you can start uh, on, on on Linux, but of course it's it's also fine if you just want to uh, start on Linux and uh, yeah. Uh, in line with the discussion of performance, I think it's very important to notice that uh, the compilation procedure highly influences the speed of the code. So it's not that if you switch to Linux, it will automatically gives you a much higher performance than on Windows. But it really depends on the compiler, depend on the math library, and depend depend on the parallel computing library. In the next video, I will I, I will show you uh, show you uh, like how this works in detail, and um, and how to compile 
and how to install quantum espresso uh, efficiently. I will also show you uh, some benchmarks uh, of of different possibilities of compilation and and gives you some uh, some idea which way is the most efficient and hopefully after that you can you can uh, build your efficient quantum espresso compilation yourself and um, and before that we uh, I, I also have two hands-on tutorial on how to install Ubuntu and about the basic commands in Linux and ho and hope that those will also help you get started with uh, with quantum espresso in Linux so um, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time